Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. In this video, we'll talk about ranks and uh, we'll talk about Windows functions in the next video. In Pandas, we can use rank to rank data in series or data frame using methods such as average, min, max, first, and we'll talk all about that in the coding section. I hope you have already learned the basics of these in the descriptive statistics videos that were before these. So let's get started in Jupyter Notebook. Here I've already created a new notebook and imported two libraries, NumPy and Pandas. And for the data, we have series A and a data frame B. So uh, the first method that we'll use is default rank method to rank data in the series A. So the series A we have data which is like this. We have 23, then 43 repeats two times and we have one NAN. And then we have 63 that repeats two times. So if you use the easiest method to rank the data here, we would type A dot rank and without putting anything in the parenthesis, if we run this, we can get the output where we have one for the element number element with value 23 at index zero and that's the smallest element then we have ideally this 43 at index one would have index two and this 43 at index two would have index rank of three however uh, the default for ranking in pandas is average therefore the rank of these two elements which is 2 and 3 is average to 2.5 and therefore in the output what we see here is the average rank of 2.5 for the value of 43 at index 1 and index 2 similarly uh, at index 5 and 6 for 67 the average rank is 5.5 now after the average rank you probably notice that the rank of 3 is not there so that's completely skipped and the next element is ranked at 4 also you may notice that the nans are excluded from ranking and therefore after 4 we have the 5.5 average for the index 5 and 6 so the nan at index 4 is completely ignored in this case now this is a uh, ranking where the default if you type ascending is equal to true that is the default ranking type where the smallest number is given the rank of one and the highest uh, value is given the highest possible rank so if you switch this and change this to false then the ranking is reversed so the number 75 which is the largest number in the series a now has a rank of one and the smallest number which is 23 has a rank of seven in this case. So that's how the basic rank works in a series. Now let's look at a data frame. So if you have a data frame df.rank and that will rank the data frame. Uh, let me pull the data frame just here. So if you look at the data frame, we have the same series A and we have the series B. So both of them are independently ranked in series B, we can see that at index 2, we have 21, which is the smallest number and that has a value, uh, that is a rank of 1. And the largest number in this particular series is at index, I think it's at index 7, which is 75 and that has the value of 8, a rank of 8. Here the default axis is axis 0, so if you type axis 0, then this is the same ranking that we get but you change that to axis one then what we get is the ranking row along the row so at index uh, row at index zero we have one which is the number 23 as a rank of one which is the smallest and 71 which is largest this has a rank of two and so so on and so forth uh, at index four however we see that there is a nan and therefore that is left as is and the 45 is given the rank of 1 and in the last uh, row we can see that 75 and 75 both are, have the same value so the uh, here the rank is average of 1 and 2 which is 
now all these ranks that we have seen so far they are average based ranks which means that if there are two elements in that particular sequence that are same that are of same value then they are uh, the ranks of those are averaged and given the average rank for both of them there are other ways you, in which you can uh, approach this uh, situation where the elements have the same value for example we can use the min so if you type a dot rank min so method is equal to min in quotes then here as you can see this particular uh, value here for 45 had a rank of 2 and this value here had a rank of 3 now the uh, minimum between 2 and 3 is 2 and therefore uh, both these 43 have a value of 2 similarly at index 5 and 6 the 67 is given the minimum value of 5 uh, when comparing 5 and 6 5 is the minimum similar to minimum we have maximum and in maximum uh, again at 40 for index 1 and 2 the for a value for 43 we see that 2 and 3 uh, out of 2 and 3 3 is the maximum so the value for rank given to the uh, at this index is 3 similarly at index 6, 5 and 6 the item 67 has a rank of 6 because 6 is maximum between 5 and 6 in addition to this there is a, a dense rank and in case of dense rank uh, as we can see here the number after the uh, repeated numbers is not uh, uh, ignored so for example 1 is the smallest so we have value of 1 here now 43 is repeated 2 times and here 43 is given the rank of 2 both the 43 elements have the rank of 2 and after that the rank 3 does exist and it is given to the uh, element after those 43 so in this case it is 45 that is at index 3 which has rank of 3 similarly nn is skipped and the rank 4 is then given to the elements at index 5 and 6 which is 67 and that's the rank 4 and fall after that we have the rank 5 which is the last rank in this particular case which is given to element 75 at index number 7 so this rank is also helpful finally there is one more method to rank and that is first so if we look at our series a and if you try to rank it uh, using the method first method is equal to first and here we can see that the lowest number is ranked as 1, highest number is ranked as 7 uh, and these numbers elements 40 elements at index 1 and 2 which is 43 in this case they are ranked uh, in the order in which they appear so the element 43 at index 1 is assigned a rank of 2 and element 43 at index 2 is assigned rank of 3 similarly for 67 at index 5 and 6 the rank is assigned in a consecutive order starting with index uh, 5 is ranked at 5 and index 6 is ranked at 6 so that was the uh, last method i wanted to discuss in this video for ranking i hope you learned how to rank data in series and data frames in this video in the next video we'll continue our discussion uh, in pandas and definitely talk about windows and how to use window functions to smooth out averages and create plots as well so that's it for this video uh, please like share and subscribe i'll hope to see you all in the next video thank you